all right guys hey welcome back uh it's been three no four four weeks since we've been gone um spring break was right there in the middle of it um but hey how's it going my name is mr chance and just letting you know i am going to try to start to put together uh a broadcast and this is our episode of c19 home edition and i just wanted to let you guys all know that we well i'm gonna try to do this weekly if i could get it out there the hardest part is the content i just want to make sure that you guys know what we're going to do is just real quick short um information um whether it's um things that it may, maybe you have something out there that we want to talk about so um without further ado let's get started so i wanted to talk about a certain student that i had um violetta uh she's a ford exchange student and what's Interesting about her situation is she was deported um, back to Spain due to all this um, craziness. And I just want to kind of give you an idea of how her life has gone. Hi, my name is Violeta Fernandez, and I'm a foreign exchange student from Spain who's been living here in California for the past 10 months. Coronavirus has greatly affected my life. Because of the virus outbreak, I am scared. I don't know when I will be able to go back to my country. I don't know if my country will block the borders from me. I don't know if one of my family members were to get infected, I will be able to get back to them. The only thing I know is I've lost three weeks of my favorite thing here, school. I came for a year to the United States. I made friends for life. I love going to school and talking to new people. I go to every school event and party like it's my last day. And now I can't do any of those things. All right. so. Real difficult times. Can you imagine being that far away from your parents? So, and I, but I just want to let you guys know where she's at now. She's actually sent me some videos and she um, went ahead and sent me this video where she's hey, at. Hey, uh, this is Violeta Fernandez and I am now talking all the way from Madrid, Spain. Yes, I was forced to fly back to my country and this past week has been rough, not gonna lie. I spent my 16th birthday alone on a plane with no food whatsoever because they couldn't serve it in order to stop the virus from spreading. I had to wear a face mask and a, a very uncomfortable gloves for the full 10 hour flight all the way to London. But I am now safe and sound at home and I am so happy to see my parents. It's been such a long time since I last saw them. So that's my update. I'm fine, I'm happy and healthy, and I'm really sad that my year in America wasn't quite finished like I was expecting it to. At least I'm here with my family and we're all good, so uh, I'll say goodbye. Yeah, hey, you gotta spend your birthday somewhere or another, but at least she's home safe with her parents, um, and that's huge. So, anyways, we are going to take a break right now, and I'm gonna try this, and we're gonna go ahead and just give you some tips on what you should be doing while you're home being on quarantine. It's March 2020, and the U.S. has the highest percentage of the coronavirus. Here is how you can keep you and your family safe. Number one, wash your hands often. In case you do happen to get the virus on your hands, you may easily wash your hands for 20 seconds to remove any bacteria that you may have encountered. If you don't wash your hands, it may be easier for the virus to reach your face, which can result in sickness. Number 2. Stay more than 6 feet apart. Doing this will make it unlikely for the virus to reach your body. This means no more high fives and fist bumps. If you can't live without high fives, then you better find your hazmat suits. Number three, when you feel sick. If you do help and catch this virus, then you are advised to stay home. If you continue leaving your house, then the virus may spread to others. So stock up on food, water, and toilet paper, and wait for your quarantine to end. And those were the three important steps of surviving COVID-19. So stay safe. All right, so there you go. So there's some easy, simple tips to follow. I love the fact that these students are sending me these videos, um, getting creative on how they're doing things at home, um, and just um, 
you know, it is what it is. We got to figure out how to make this work throughout until we get back to school. So, all right. So I have a quick video and I want you guys to take this lightly. I want to make sure that you guys understand that I understand that this is a negative situation, but I asked some students what they think of so far what's happening and this is what some of them had to say this is week two week four week two day five yeah four four three week three and the corona -cation. during this whole time it's been great i've been decompressing getting my schoolwork done like which i usually do but i reorganized my room and it's kind of weird because i'm used to being in a classroom and being around my friends but the coronavirus kind of canceled everything shut down the whole united states i'm doing good and i like i feel bad for people that aren't doing good i know it's like deadly or whatever but i don't know and obviously i'm at home so it's kind of boring just the fact of like a virus is shutting everything down shutting or keeping seniors from going to school it's just like and everyone's talking about like all the graduation and grad night and all that stuff it's gonna be canceled so i'm really excited to kind of go back i i even though i am really really liking this staying at home kind of thing i just want it to be over already all right, so obviously some a lot of mixed emotions on how we're dealing with this. So this week's video assignment is is a question is how are you staying positive in the in this difficult time? What are some positive things that you've made come out of all this? So personalize it. I know there, um, there's, it's a it's hard to kind of think of a positive situation out of all this, but tell me about the moments that you are learning and having to cope with being home with your family, um, reading a book, um, taking walks with people you've never, uh, and spending time with people you've never thought you'd spend that much time with before. So, but I'm always here to let you know, we're always uh, out there to um, just kind of fill you in and um, um, just kind of put some background music here. But I just kind of want to let you know that we as staff are here and there's my information if you want to get a hold of me, if you want to subscribe, uh, look us up for at Liberty Hawk Talk. And for the most part, remember always, we miss you, folks.